Hey, look at these three. These three bashers. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what is going on YouTube? One only XR here and welcome to the channel. Today is an incredible freaking day. We're gonna go out to Onini Moto. You're gonna get to see one of the most amazing bikes you could ever ride. The only other point I can think of to share with you, no one else but me has ever ridden this. Ooh. Hey, we're here at the 2014 Ducati 1199 Superleggero. It is just as bright and shiny in person as it should be on camera, and its personality is just as lively. So this beast is derived from the Panigale R and has just been cranked up to 11. It's an absolute monster. You look at the throttle and it just wants to keep going and going and going. It brings back the love of Ducati that I had when I first bought my 1199S and this is just so sorted out and so amazing. Uh, it, it took a while to gather my thoughts after riding this to kind of put into words how amazing this machine really is. Part of the reason why this bike is so incredible is the weight. At 390 pounds, it is incredibly light. And this is due to the fact that we have carbon fiber panels, a magnesium frame, carbon fiber subframe, and all these bolts are titanium. So everything that was steel got turned into titanium and made it just super, super light. Jappy nimble, jappy quick, this thing is a nut. There are only 500 of these models made. This particular one is 160. And you think about it, when you ride it, it feels that special. It feels like you're on something that not many other people are gonna have. And when you ride it, people will obviously notice with this paint color here. The other part that makes this machine so incredible is the engine. The owner told me that it was rated at 195 horsepower and 92 foot-pounds of torque on the dyno uh, because it has a tune. It's also got a quick shifter that was aftermarket installed so it's auto blipper up and down. And it's got a GP shift so that kind of took a little extra for me to learn but you know after a little bit of riding and trying to kick it into the wrong gear I kind of figured it out. Man, just the feel this bike has. Some of the features that are on this bike actually get carried over into the 1299. Like on this side, there's an up and down little tab button over here that you can change your stability and traction control with. Like, so these super Legeros, they come out and all that technology filters down to the bikes in the later years. A little quirk that I didn't know that I had to kind of actually look up is the brake lever adjuster. So when you're riding hard and your brake starts to fade, you can actually use this little tab over here on the left to adjust where the your brake lever is actually at instead of trying to fiddle with it over here. It's on your left hand side, it makes it a world easier and a lot safer when you're going to speed. You know, when I bought the 1199S, I realized that I was sitting on a brick and it was the hardest bike I'd ever sat on and ridden. Uh, it was a love or hate machine for sure. This machine is a love machine. <laughs> it's amazing. It's soft. It actually is very comfortable to sit on, which surprised the hell out of me. I didn't expect this to be nearly as comfortable as it is. The suspension doesn't try to buck you off when you ride it. We went over a few bumps while I was testing this thing out and it kind of skipped over them really nicely. Whereas like the 1199S, when you would try to go over it, it would almost buck you off. It's like you weren't sitting with the bike, you were just sitting on the bike. In this particular one, you feel like you're one with the machine and that feeling along with the rawness just gives this incredible sense of speed, this visceral experience that is unlike any other. And I can't thank on any moto enough for allowing me to take this machine out and really test it and really get a good feel for how a super leger is supposed to be. Recalibrate the brain and the muscle, everything. Oh my god, it's so bumpy, it just bounced over all that. <laughs> what an experience. Oh, daddy. <laughs> 
hills, just magnificent. I hope I'm recording. This would suck if I'm not. Oh, the transition. Uh oh, rocks in the road. Rocks in the road. And yeah, my friends, why you don't panic? Ah, oh, so choppy. 1199 taught you to be smooth. This bike is no different. You have to be so, so precise with everything. I love it. <laughs> Another unique part about this motorcycle is it has only had race fuel in it. This bike was used at the track to really kind of work in all the components and make it that much better and that seat everything. And you can tell, you can tell how just put together this bike feels. It's incredible. I can't say enough incredible things about this machine. It's fast, it's raw, it's harsh. It's exactly what you want a Ducati to be. And you kind of lose that as you get into the V4s. It's kind of brought that back and brought that same sense of why I love Ducatis. A good note about this motorcycle is it is for sale. So come to Animoto Power Sports, look at their website and check this bad boy out. Oh, damn. It's just so good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh baby, what a bike. Woo! Snap, cockle, pop, bang, ding, dong. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>